Hey gang, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today. Welcome back here to another Mental Monday where inevitably I always lose subscribers every Monday giving my opinions that uh, seem to irritate some people. So uh, that's just sort of a given when you come to Mental Monday here. But welcome back for everybody that is uh, a regular to Mental Mondays. And if you're new to Mental Mondays, this is something we do once a week that usually doesn't have anything to do with fishing. It's just something I just give you guys my opinions on the, uh, the, the the, the nature of reality and from, from my perspective and it makes for an interesting some interesting conversations where it breaks up the monotony of just fishing tips all the time today we're going to be talking about a very complex topic and that is sort of like some of the the biggest mind benders in my opinion as far as our ability to to for a rational mind to grasp certain things in terms of like the age and the size of our universe and the earth and um and then after I get into that a little bit, I want to sort of bring it back more to a human perspective here, tie it all in together a little bit. So we'll get into that here. So first of all, it's like there are aspects of the universe, guys, that are just um, that a rational mind can't really comprehend it, what that means. For example, um, our known universe that we know is 93 or scientists estimate there it's 90 the mutual consensus of science that is um, estimates that it's 93 billion light years across now that would mean it would take 93 billion years if you could travel at the speed of light 186,000 miles per second for 93 billion years it would take that long to get across our known universe for all practical purposes, that is infinity, you know, and you can't, our minds simply can't wrap around that type of distance, that vastness. When you think that there are other galaxies and, you know, the, and planets and stars 93 billion light years away from us, that to me is like one of the, that's one of the things that like, um, it's one of the big, mysteries of the universe as far as contemplating that and um i tend to believe that a lot or in fact i do believe that a lot i mean a lot of this information that i'm going to give you it comes from the same scientists that have figured out how to put a drone on an asteroid traveling at fifteen thousand miles an hour like they did last month so um they sort of they know what they're talking about with this so a couple other things along with that that are sort of along the same uh, terms there you know they they say, for example, our, our just our own, you know, universe, our known universe that we know is 14 billion years old. You know, they estimate the age of the Earth at 4.8 billion years. And just to know that things have been around that long here, that is just like, that's one of the things I, I just like to contemplate about when I'm fishing a little bit, because it puts things in perspective. You know, we, we think about our problems here on Earth like they're nothing else matters except our problems and our issues and <clears throat> our economy <clears throat> all that type of stuff but when you look at it from that perspective as far as uh, infinity and all this stuff we're talking about our little problems here on earth don't mean anything like that and um eventually even like i said even taking it a step further here they estimate like in four to five billion years from now, you know, our sun is going to turn into a red giant where it's a you know, sun is a star. So this, the sun, they expect it to begin to die in about five billion years, which it expands out and eventually will engulf the earth and the earth will be gone too. So inevitably we won't be here at this, in this, you know, time and place five billion years from now. So if that's not enough to wrap your mind around, I know that's difficult for a lot of people to comprehend. What does it mean as far as from our human perspective? What does that mean when you're talking about infinity and these tremendous ages and, and distances that we talk about in the universe? For me, it's like I love to think about stuff like that because it makes me realize that I, in my opinion, guys, we are just everybody watching this channel, everybody on this planet that is here or has ever been here, we're on this never ending adventure. This it's like a divine mystery that nobody can explain. I, and people try to explain it. Religions try to explain it. Philosophers try to explain it. Um, scientists, astrophysicists, everybody tries to come up with an explanation about 
why we're here, where we're headed, but nobody knows. If somebody tells you that they know, they don't know what they're talking about because nobody knows. In my experience, the, the closest thing to formulating some type of a grasp on that is through your own feelings and intuitions. From my perspective, you know, I just think we're, we're, everybody's just on this never ending dance throughout eternity. And we are so fortunate, everybody here, we are sharing this time and place on this earth. And even, even the fact that, you know, humans have been here just a little over a million, million or two years, we are still a tight knit community. We are, we, we are here experiencing this time and space and infinity. And to me, that is just miraculous. That is like there's something that's very comforting to know that we've been given the opportunity to do that. And we'll probably continue. I mean, there's, you know, if you can grasp the concept of infinity, then you can grasp the concept of experiences like we're having here on the earth are never ending. It's just like, it's just, it's just a constant, um, you know, never ending cycle of experiences throughout this infinite universe that we live in. But the thing about it, one of the things that draws me back to the center and grounds me a little bit is that even though it can be overwhelming to think of it in these terms as far as how tiny that we are in the, in the big picture of it, we still have to do the right thing. Everybody out there has got to strive to live their life with high ethics and high morals and lead lives of kindness and compassion compassion and empathy and understanding and love, all that type of stuff. Because from my point of view, from what I've seen it, is that if we go on into other existences, which I believe we do that, and the only thing that I have to, to substantiate that is my own intuitions and feelings. I don't, you can't have somebody tell you how to believe something and accept that for yourself. We all have to think for ourselves. We all have to we all have to be grounded and believe something ourselves from our own heart and our intuition. But the point of the fact is, it is so important that while you're on this planet, that you do everything you can to lead an exemplary life. It is so important because that carries on to your next existence. That carries on to your next phase of of a being in this universe, or whatever that may be. Nobody knows again, because, and that's okay. I, I, I think, in my opinion, one of the reasons that that's been the biggest mystery of our existence of mankind is, is it's meant to be a mystery. If it, It's meant for us not to know, because if we knew, we wouldn't focus on our own experience and existence here we have on the short time of Earth that we have. Therefore, I don't think that it's worth much mental energy to think about stuff, what's going to happen afterwards. I mean, you can contemplate a little bit, but I think it's more important to focus on that gift of being here on this planet and being the best person that you can and trying to trying to evolve as a, a being that makes for just a positive, strong, you know, vibrant soul that you'll have. And that, I, I know that's... I, it, that's you don't hear people talking like this every day. It's not out in left field because it's completely natural. It's life. It's something that people think about all the time. But the problem that a lot of people have with that is they stuff that into the corner because a lot of people don't want to think about the things that I just told you. They don't want to think about infinity. They don't want to think about a universe that's 93 billion light years across. They don't want to think about our sun turning into a red giant five billion years from now and the earth be exploding. Because to, in some, to a lot of people, that can be seen as unsettling, which it should not be. That's just the cycle of life. That's the balance of life. That's the way life is meant to be. And um, I think that one of the things that you can do is you can just rest in the faith, everybody, that it's just okay. It, it, it's gonna, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's always going to be okay. I mean, we, like I said, have been given this fortunate uh, gift from whatever, how you want to explain it, of, of having our own individuality. And I really believe that our own individuality and the own unique imprint that every single person on this planet that's ever been or ever will be has 
that imprint stays with you throughout eternity. And that's how other people recognize you through eternity. And that's how you gravitate to people. And that's how you travel through eternity with people is every single one of us has a vibration that is unique to our own. And we think in terms of this physical shell that we're in right now, but that this is just a shell. Everybody knows that this is just a shell we're in. We have an eternal being inside of us that is a vibration, it's an energy, it's, it's, it's pure love at its purest essence. And that is what we're known by. That is, that's what allows people that have ever loved us or people that you've ever loved to share that this experience throughout eternity. I really believe that. I, one of the things that um, I, it, it's not a belief, it's a, it's a knowing in my, from my standpoint is that th just what I just said there, I think that everyone that you've ever loved, everyone that you've shared love with on any form, I don't care if it's a pet or whatever, and anybody that has showed you love back, I think that those entities, people, whatever you call them, I think they travel together throughout eternity in some form, shape, or form. And that, to me, that's a very, very comforting thing to know. And the thing that's the thing that probably makes more sense to me than anything else in this universe from what I've seen for myself, what I've experienced, what I've felt on different levels. Um, so... You know, just knowing that, it should be a very comforting thought to everybody out there because I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. So anyway, guys, just a, just a few mind benders this Mental Mondays. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, much appreciated. We'll talk to you guys later.